Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're talking about what happened at Red Bull, and let's figure out why Max Verstappen is linked to a move to Mercedes. Alright, let's get to it. So basically, Red Bull announced Horner is being investigated. Now who is Christian Horner? What did he do? Results of the investigation... Verstappen linked to Mercedes. Potential aftermath from this situation. Hmm. Now let's dive into it. Introduction. So in 2024, Christian, Horn Christian Horner is currently the team principal of Red Bull Formula One team. Former race car driver. Six World Constructors Championships. Recently more featured in Drive to Survive. And what I mean by that, if you watch the most recent season, he's in quite a few episodes. And why do you, why is that? Because I think he's been getting more pushed and more popular lately with all the success that Red Bull has had. And, you know, obviously that's good. That's great. And if you remember, in one season of Drive to Survive, he told Toto Wolf to fix his fucking car. And why did he say that? Because Mercedes was struggling with their no side pod concept with porpoising to the maximum so basically the car was going da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so that's why he told him to fix his fucking car anyways so yeah now what did he do what did the brother do well he ain't a brother of mine so he was accused of inappropriate behavior by a female colleague and you say what does that mean well, I think allegedly, or we can say allegedly in this situation, but inappropriate behavior to me would sound like being a fucking creep. But I don't know. It's all alleged. So anyways, Christian Horner denied the claim. And allegedly, after he declined it, denied the claim, I mean, the WhatsApp messages were leaked between Christian Horner and the female colleague. And you're like, what? Leaked? Yeah, someone leaked them to everyone within Formula One, all the team principals, like everywhere. And it even got onto Twitter, allegedly. And allegedly, Christian Horner was in the messages talking about, what you wearing, babe? No, he didn't say that directly, but you know, allegedly. But you know, just basically like talking to this female colleague and like, you know, asking about outfits and just having conversations and, you know, probably... And that power dynamic, depending on who it is, it's just very inappropriate. You know, you're there to work. You're not there to necessarily always socialize. And especially when someone has power over you, like, what can you do in that situation? It's very hard for you to get out of that situation in a positive way. And I, when I say that, I'm referring to the female colleague. That had to be a really tough situation to go through. So, yeah. Anyways, Christian Horner did, did answer some questions about the situation. And this is what he had to say. And no, it looks, it looks it's, biz, it's business as usual. Um, there obviously is a, a process. Uh, obviously, I fully deny um, what, you know, any accusations that have been made against me. But uh, of course, I'll work, work with that process, which I hope is concluded in the near future. Yeah, so basically, he just basically gave an apology. And that was it. He didn't really say like, hey, he didn't go into too many details. Didn't really go into any details, actually. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes, I guess. So let's get down to the next slide. Whoa. So what was the results of the investigation? And if you read my slide way too fast before I read the title, you're, you're a horrible person. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Anyways, yeah, so basically they said there was no evidence of inappropriate behavior. So basically the man is... Not guilty, allegedly, not guilty. But that doesn't stop there. There's been more and more questions surrounding this investigation from Ford, for example, and from others. Because it seems like, especially after they said this statement, that's when the WhatsApp messages were leaked, apparently. And then that raised more questions into how is there no evidence? Like, the evidence is everywhere. So, I don't know. And granted, allegedly, in the conversations, Christian Horner 
um, asked the female colleague to delete the conversations, but they refused to delete the conversations. So, this is all alleged. I don't know, but there you go. And then it gets leaked. So, so what you really came for? For stopping to Mercedes? <laughs> yeah, probably not. But, Max Verstappen has not made a comment on this situation or the move to Mercedes. But, someone who has been yapping and talking and letting us know is Max Verstappen's dad. Jos Verstappen. So basically, Jos Verstappen said some statements this past week and basically said, yeah, Red Bull's going to fall apart if Horner remains team principal and that Horner is playing victim when he is causing the problems within Red Bull. And obviously, Jos Verstappen and Christian Horner, I guess, are not on the same page and no one really knows why, I would assume, because it's, you know, you need to be there to really know. But yes, basically, Jos Verstappen had a meeting with Toto Wolf, and basically, you know, that's sending shots right there that, hey, they're talking, Verstappen could be on the move. And granted, Jos Verstappen is not Max Verstappen's manager, apparently, so, but Jos Verstappen does have a lot of say, I would assume, and a lot of power within, with his son, allegedly. We don't know that, really. And Toto Wolf didn't necessarily say, no, nah, dog, he can't come here. Total Wolf, I felt like kind of, you know, he would like the idea. I mean, Max Verstappen to Mercedes? What? And what makes this even crazier, Red Bull has a car that is literally the fastest rocket ship you've ever seen that has wheels on it. Like, they've gotten the concept correct. They keep making the concept better. They changed their whole concept for the 2024 season. Like, there's no reason, really, racing-wise, why Max Verstappen would ever leave Red Bull. And Max Verstappen technically has a contract with Red Bull until 2028. So you ask yourself, how is this even possible? Well, apparently, there's a clause in Max Verstappen's contract that if Helmut Marco leaves, Max Verstappen can go anywhere. And Helmut Marco already made a statement saying that he will not stand in the way of Verstappen. So there you go, peeps. There you go, my peoples. That's how Max Verstappen's going to end up in Mercedes. Will he actually do it? No one knows. He's not made a comment, but luckily for us, it's race week, baby. So Max Verstappen will probably have some questions about this. Now, what will he say? We do not know. Mm -mm. All right, let's get to the next one. So for to dissolve its partnership with Red Bull. Now this is just this is going over the topic that I started with in the beginning about the potential after the potential aftermath of this situation. So basically Red Bull they have a partnership with Honda right now until 2025, right? To keep supplying them the engine stuff. And they technically have their own Red Bull powertrain department which is like they're making their own engines essentially. And, but it's really Honda doing the work, I would assume, or Honda's, you know, providing some support there. So basically, in 2026, they are aligned to have an engine with Ford. Now, we don't even know, is the Ford engine going to be good? Is it going to be reliable? Is it going to be fast? We don't even know. But the whole point is that if Christian Horner remains on the team, there's a possibility that Ford could pull out. Because Ford has a clause in their contract with Red Bull that they can dissolve the partnership if they want to, basically. So they might do it. I mean, this is a bad look on Red Bull if, 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 if Christian Horner is guilty of these allegations. Because then it just, it looks bad. And think about the female colleague. It's even worse for them. Because he knows who he's talking to. He knows the story got out. And it depend on who told who what, I mean, that's just a bad situation to be in. It's a bad power dynamic, assuming that the colleague is still there within Red Bull. So, I mean, you, could, you can just imagine that situation. That's insane. But anyways, so basically Red Bull, if things are not resolved and things do not die down, this could be a situation where Red Bull could go into 2026 with no engine supplier. Granted, they would probably just have to support their own engines, but they would be behind because I'm assuming they're developing some kind of partnership to be ready to go with Ford. I mean, I don't know how all that works, 
But I'm just telling you, that's woo, that could be a bad situation for them. So I don't know. And you wonder, you know, what will happen? And you know, that's really all we can say about this whole situation. And make sure to like and subscribe. I thank you for your time. I thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I really do. And I think to wrap up this video, we talk about, let's say Verstappen goes to Mercedes. What happens to that other seat at Red Bull? Fernando Alonso? But do they keep Sergio Perez? What if they don't keep Sergio Perez? Maybe they replace Sergio with Yuki Tsunoda? Probably not. Daniel Ricciardo? Probably yes. Especially if Christian Horner's still the team principal. Oh my gosh, Daniel Ricciardo and Christian Horner are like best buddies. So that could definitely happen. You could see that happening. So it makes you really wonder, you know? And I think overall, hmm. And then you got Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari with with uh, Charles Leclerc. And then who's at, who's at Mercedes? Max Verstappen? But then what happens to Carlos Sainz? Carlos Sainz don't have a seat. Oh my gosh, does Carlos Sainz go back to RB? He can't go to RB. He came from that program. He was already at Red Bull once before. So what happens to Carlos Sainz? Does he go to Sauber, which is going to be Audi by then? Maybe so. But does he want to go to a team like that? So many questions. And I'm, I appreciate you for just tuning in, like I said. And in the comments, tell me how you feel. Do you think Max Verstappen's going to Mercedes in 2025? Do you think, what do you, what do you think is going to happen this season? Who do you think will win this season? Who will get that driver's championship? Who will get the constructor's championship? Tell me what you think. Also, I'm trying to, on every race week, I want to react and talk about or review the FP1 sessions, FP2, FP3 sessions, if I have time. And I would like to do the same for the qualifying and the race. So I really appreciate that. I plan to upload more Formula 1 content on this channel. And I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, I'm going to keep trying to improve different aspects of the videos. I'm trying out different things, different formats. So stick with me. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your time.